Hello everyone, welcome to a new video about making selections in Exposure. In this video, we will demonstrate using the lasso tool to generate detailed selections. Masking objects is largely dependent on the image and context. The selection tools available in Exposure are flexible and can be used in numerous ways, so you can choose which one works best for you. We are using Exposure, our advanced photo editing and organizing application, in this tutorial. You can download the demo of Exposure free from our website if you don't already own a copy. The first tool you use to make a selection sets up the workflow for refining it. Each of the selection tools in Exposure do the same thing, but in a little different way to give you better control over various subjects. The Lasso Selection tool is perfect for objects that are clearly defined. Simply use the lasso to trace around the object in the photo and Exposure will generate a selection for you. The shape you draw tells Exposure where to look for the edges of the object you wish to select. The selection that the lasso tool creates is a detailed, adjustable polygon. The sensitivity slider adjusts how Exposure generates the lasso selection. Higher amounts of sensitivity make Exposure look for harder, more defined edges when it creates a selection. Low sensitivity will include more detail and less variation in the selection edge. If you want to remake the lasso you made, press the clear button. On the other side of the panel, press commit to accept the selection on the screen. This converts the lasso selection into a polygon. In the panel, notice the active selection boundary is labeled as an include polygon. Refine the selection boundary with the border points. You can move points or delete unneeded points easily to make the edges of the selection match even better with those in the image. The thickness of the selection boundary can be adjusted because it is now a polygon. The base width slider controls the size of the area exposure searches when locating the object's edges. A narrower base width will give exposure accurate data about the edge location, but it will take more time to position each point precisely. For more control, select a point or several points along the edge and use the relative width slider to change each segment independently. You can easily change the relative width with the mouse wheel and the modifier key shift. Simply hover over a point or several selected points in the preview, and then scroll to change the point width. The layer masks created with the lasso tool enable you to easily control different zones within the photograph to apply editing adjustments. When using strong adjustments like two or more stops of exposure, the precision of the selection boundary becomes much more important. In this scenario, use the edge options controls to modify the selection. The expand slider will widen or shrink the selection boundary. The matting slider makes edge sensitive expansion. It pushes the mask out toward the border of the selection to blend away thin lines that may appear at the edges of the mask. The masking selection tools in Exposure are simple to use and flexible, so you can keep your focus on creating beautiful images. That completes this demo on making lasso selections in Exposure. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about Exposure on our website, exposure.software. If you'd like to see more videos about using Exposure or our other software titles, subscribe to our channel on YouTube.